It's that time of year when people with no artistic ability whatsoever take a knife and mutilate a perfectly good pumpkin. This year, help was available. Tips and instruction, plus a lot more fun at the first ever Pumpkin Carving Festival. KITV 4's Doug Allgaier reports from the Blaisdell Center. Families carving pumpkins. It's a Halloween tradition. But how do you learn how to carve a pumpkin? The organizers of the first Pumpkin Carving Festival decided to offer some help. In Hawaii, nobody knows, really knows how to carve pumpkins, right? I mean, dads usually do the triangle eyes and all of that. So we put together a, a design team, and these are chefs and artists and master carvers, and they've agreed to come here today and teach our families how to carve their pumpkins. And check out this pumpkin. Wow, this is amazing. It was carved by local artist Wayne Takazono. He uses special tools normally used to sculpt clay. I kind of uh, have an idea of what I'm going to, what, how it's going to come out, and I just start going at it. Like with this piece, I've been studying it for the past 10, 15 minutes to see what's, what's inside it. Then uh, as soon as I see it, I'm going to start carving it. The event offered more than just pumpkin carving. Kids could pose for photos with characters from The Wizard of Oz. And there was entertainment. All for a good cause. The event helped the Keiki Oka'ina Mentorship Program that helps children of parents who are in prison. We find volunteer adult mentors to mentor the Keiki for four hours once a month or four hours total and dedicate one year to them. So they become role models, they become teachers, coaches for the Keiki whose mommies and daddies are in prison. Organizers say they hope the Pumpkin Carving Festival will become an annual family event. Reporting from the Blaisdell Exhibition Hall, Dick Allgaier, KITV 4 News. And right about now, corporate teams are carving pumpkins for a two-hour timed competition, and that will run until about 7.30.